Uh, good day everybody. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> Today our uh, topic is story time. He didn't text back. <clears throat> so this one day, um, <clears throat> this dude decided to text his boyfriend. And <clears throat> he texted back. He texted him and he waited for a text back. And <clears throat> he was sitting there for a couple of hours and he kept looking at his phone, said, he said, why did he text back? I, I texted him, says, I texted him, and he never texted back. So he just stayed here, sat there, and he watched TV uh, for a while. So he picked up his phone, he said, he still didn't text back. And, and uh, he just sat around, he thought, oh, I'll just pick up the phone, I'll just tell him. And he went to the call and said, no, maybe he'll just text back. Uh, so I waited for um, a couple more hours and he looked at his friend again said he, he still didn't text back so um, so he went to call him uh, he went to call him and he said hey what are you doing says and he said oh I forgot to text you back says I've been waiting for your last couple of hours to, to text me back he said oh I'm so sorry I, I didn't text you back so, <clears throat> he said, I, I just got caught up, I was watching TV, and I was, uh, I, I was, I went into work real quick, and I had to do some stuff, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so he said, well, when I text you, you're supposed to text back. You don't wait for a couple hours, then a couple hours later, a couple hours later than that, and <clears throat> so forth like that. So, which he never did. Um... <clears throat> So he just never texted back. So he said, um, <clears throat> he told him he had to go and do some stuff and he'll text him in a little bit. So I said, okay, I'll wait for that text. So um, <clears throat> after they hung up talking, he uh, waited for a little bit. So well, he said he was texting me back in a little bit. Then he texts back and says, and then he said, oh, hey, what's up? He says, then he texts back and says, oh, not much, just uh, sitting around, just watching TV and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, he, then he texts back and he says, oh, says, then he says, oh, what are you up to? <clears throat> so I wait for a text again. Yeah, I wait for a text. Uh, within a little bit later, wait for the text back. He still didn't text back. Still wait, still didn't text back. Then he waited for well, a little bit longer. Looked at his phone. He still didn't text back. So, I asked him what's up, and he didn't text back. So a couple hours later, he calls, says, oh, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't text you back. He says, oh, why didn't you text me back? I was waiting for that text for a little bit. He says, oh, I'm so sorry, I got caught up. I had, I had to uh, run to the store, and I had to go do something for a friend of mine. He says, well, you could have texted in between there. He could have texted and said, I'm doing stuff for my friend, or I'm doing stuff. Uh, I had to go to the run the store, I had to pick up some stuff, um, <clears throat> so I got caught up in doing stuff like that. So he, he was waiting for a text for him for quite a while. <clears throat> so if you guys ever had to wait for a text, please let me know down in the comments below. If you ever had to wait for a text for a while, and then you had to call him and ask him why didn't you text back, or waiting for that text. So, <clears throat> Story time in concludes um, that when you text somebody, all you do is have to wait for them to text you back. You don't wait for like hours later or maybe they uh, had to do something or some people like to text in between, but, but when you're out driving, you're not really supposed to text while you're driving because like, um, cause when you're out driving, you're not supposed to really talk on the phone or you're supposed to like text while you're driving. Some people can do that. Um, uh, what's that called that they did, um, anticipating, no, um, multitasking, yeah, if you can, a lot of people can multitask at the same time, it's kind of hard to do, but you have to really know how to do it, okay, <clears throat> but it's not that really hard to do, so, um, <clears throat> multitasking is pretty easy if you know how to do it, if you know what you're doing, but you have to, if you're like, after driving, you have to concentrate on like, what you're doing for driving. 
you can't be out driving and trying to figure out what what to, what to text back and uh, look at your phone all the time because you could cause an accident while you're out driving. Um, <clears throat> but if you're stopped there in a red light for a couple of seconds, you could send a quick text real quick. Or if you're at a if you're a store or somewhere, if you're pulled along alongside the road, like off the road, you're just in your car stopped. Then you could text and call and do whatever you want because you're stopped and then you're safe. You can do all that. So story time, story time concludes of you should always um, try to text back that person and you should always <clears throat> text them back whenever is needed. So if you text something important, they will text back and they will let you know of that concern of the text. So. Um, if a lot, a lot of you um, keep up with your texts, let me know down in the comments. Um, <clears throat> and here's a question. How many of you text a lot during the day? Do you text quite a bit? Do you text like a whole lot? Do you, twi do you text? <laughs> do, you <say> twext? <laughs> do you text like quite a bit more often? Do you text? Um, do you text some? A lot? Quite a bit or more often. I know a lot of people text more often than they do calling. And a lot of people do calling than they they do calling and texting at the same time. They could call, then they text. It's like talking back and forth. It's communication is what it's called. So <clears throat> a lot of people do communicate like for a long time. So what was like what some of the stuff you used to do before they had cell phones, you used to always pick up your home phone and call them. But if you had a home phone, you couldn't text on your home phone because that wasn't part of the thing. Then um, <clears throat> then they had like computers like after a while because when they first came out with home phones then after a while they had to figure out how to do another way of communication. They could have um, computers and can people can uh, com communicate like over the internet. And then they came up with if emails like <clears throat> for emails for email the E was for electronic mail like you send it through electronic mail that's why they uh, abbreviated, that, abbreviated that and called it email so you send an email to somebody then like um, within a while or maybe later on that person would email you back then you would send the email back to them and they would just email back to you. Okay. So that's one way of people communicate. They email or most of the time they would um, either, uh, like today we have all the social medias, which we all have, was uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr and all that stuff. Uh, direct message people and, and cell phones. And when we had the first cell phone, what was the first cell phone you guys had? If you had the, if you, what was your first cell, first cell phone you had? Put it down in the comments right now what your first cell phone was. Because I know most of them was mostly just a flip phone. <clears throat> we just had um, different stuff and you had like internet and stuff like that. Where you really didn't have a big screen, we didn't have like, all that stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> So after your first cell phone, you had a flip phone, then you went to another kind of phone. Then they had, well, they still have them now, but they have Droid, and they have the Galaxy, and now they have the Apple phones. The Apple phones are which are the most popular phones today. So, because um, they had the Apple phone. Remember the first Apple phone that they had? The, first, the very first one that they had? I didn't have that one, but remember, if you remember the first Apple phone you had, um... Put down in the comments if you remember the first Apple phone that you've had, or maybe you guys had one, because I didn't have one, so... If you remember the first Apple phone, then you came up from that, and you came up the um, the iPhone 4, which I still have, I'm trying to get up to 5 and 6. Most of the people have the iPhone 6 and 6S. So, <clears throat> if you remember all, all that, and you still have the iPhone 6S, put down in the comments, or if you upgraded to a, a, a different, if you have the iPhone 6 and 6S, so, if you guys have the 6 or the 6S, put down in the comments now and let me know which one you guys have. 
So, uh, some people are trying to sell their phones. Right now, um, I think on Twitter, somebody was supposed to, somebody's looking to sell theirs for like 150 And I also saw on Twitter, somebody was selling their 6S or something like that for like $250. <clears throat> um, if you want to make money on Twitter, if you want to sell something, um, there's different ways you could do that. Or you could just go on eBay.com, or you could just do it that way. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it concludes for this, uh, for the, for this video. Um, subscribe to my channel, like my page, thumbs up for my page. Let's see if we get a thousand likes for this video, and follow my social media, which is Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook, and all that stuff. Uh, check out my Patreon page. Uh, you can support me through doing videos on this channel right here. And <clears throat> I will see you guys next week. And all you guys have a great and wonderful weekend.